What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about wall sweeps in Revit. So I'm going to be showing you how to place basic wall sweeps in Revit and all of the settings and options that we have there. Uh, then I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom sweep profile and then how to apply that profile to your sweep. I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, sweeps that don't follow kind of a regular either horizontal or vertical direction, uh, a bit more complicated complicated sweep styles and types. Uh, then I'm going to be showing you how to use sweeps as part of walls. So just having them as part of the wall structure. So they're always there. And then also I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add details to sweeps. So you can add a bit more detail and precision to your projects. Uh, now before we actually jump into Revit, I would just quickly like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. So on my website I have all of my Revit courses uh, where I take the extra time to go slowly step by step and explain all of the complex topics inside of Revit. So if you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the place to be. There is over 130 hours of courses or course content. There is also some customized ready to go Revit templates. You can find some really high quality Revit families. And we also have a plugin which you might want to check out. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And as you can see here we are in Revit and I've already placed a wall here so I'm just going to be using that uh, wall to place our first sweep. So for the sweep we want to go here to the wall tool so on the architecture tab expand that menu and here we have the wall sweep. So when you select the sweep here what you'll notice is that on the modify tab we have the placement options and we can either place it horizontally, vertically, or you can restart the wall sweep. So in this case, I'm just going to place it like this horizontally and click. And something that you'll notice is that Revit is not really going to respond. So what you can do is just zoom in and out and then you'll see your sweep. And because we're done here, I can just go to modify and then finish that. Okay, so here we have the sweep. Now you can kind of flip it up and down. What you'll notice here is that this is kind of the location line. So you can kind of flip it up and down uh, from that location line. You can set up the height kind of precisely here by uh, using uh, kind of a numerical input. Uh, you can also come in here and if I just uh, copy this wall and just create a, another wall segment here, so something like that. Let's actually flip this wall. It should be facing the other direction. There we go. So if we have this wall here, what I can do is I can select the sweep and then I can go to add remove walls and then I can add this wall. So basically it will follow that wall as well. So we have that option too. Okay, now I'm just going to come in here and get rid of this wall. Okay, so for the sweep itself, if I select it, what you'll notice is here we have some basic parameters uh, for the height and the level, but we also have the offset from the wall. So if you want to add some sort of an offset from the wall like this, 300 millimeters, you can see you can have it like that kind of flying midair. I don't want that, so let's return that to zero. Also, if I go here into edit type, you will see we have some additional options. So one is cut wall cuts wall so it's basically cutting through the wall it's not overlapping uh, then you can also cut by inserts so uh, is it being cut by a window or not so that's another option so here you'll see that if I just turn that on and then hit apply okay if I decide to put a window here so let's put a window in here just like that if I move it up, what you'll see is it's going to cut the sweep itself. It's not going to cut straight uh, through it. Uh, however, if we were to set this to uncheck cuts by inserts and hit apply, what you'll see then is it's basically going to be blocking that window there. But if the window is going straight through it, then in that case, it's, it's just going to be uh, kind of cut by the window. Okay, so let's get rid of that window there. Uh, also, of course, under the edit type uh, menu, you can set up the material. So if you want to apply a different material, you can choose that here. Uh, okay, so that's for the basic sweep. Now uh, for the profile of the sweep. So basically here we have just a rectangle, which 
I guess isn't that useful. Uh, but if you go here uh, to the profile, what you'll notice is you can actually edit the profile here. So unfortunately here we only have this C-shaped profile. So it's just going to give us kind of a, if I just go here to OK, uh, what you'll notice it's it's just going to give us this C-shaped profile. So that doesn't make too much sense for a sweep, definitely. So if I just select that sweep and let's edit that profile and let's bring it back to default. Okay, so now I'm just going to be showing you how to modify or how to create a custom profile for uh, a sweep. So what you want to do is you want to go here to the file menu and then you want to go to new and you want to create a new family. So for that new family type or for the family template, uh, you want to start here if I scroll all the way down to profiles and then you can just use the metric kind of generic profile. So this is what I'll use. Uh, you can see you have other options, but uh, for the sweeps, you want to use the, the basic one. Then I'm just going to hit open. So it's going to open up that uh, just that uh, profile, a family, and now here I can just use basic lines to model something. So for example, if I want to model something that looks, I don't know, like this, uh, let's see, now we can go like that and go down a little bit, use an arc perhaps here. So you can kind of go crazy with it and just you know, set it up however you like. And then we can go like that perhaps something like this. Okay, so once you have your profile kind of created, you want to make sure that the size is okay. So here you can see this fairly large, but that's okay. Let's say in this case, it, it works for us. And then I'm just going to extend it a little bit like so. Okay, so once we have the profile created, uh, then what you want to do is you want to, of course, first save it. Uh, always save the families before loading them into the project. And then I can here just save it on my desktop as a uh, sweep uh, profile. Okay, so once I have this, I'm just going to hit save and then I'm going to load that into the project and I can close it. So once it's loaded into the project, of course, it's not going to change the sweep here because the profile hasn't been assigned to this sweep. So then what you want to do is go into edit type and then in the edit type menu, you just want to go to the profile and you want to change it to that sweep profile. Hit apply. Okay, and as you can see, now we have that particular profile applied here and that's what we wanted to see. Okay, so what do you do if you have a situation where you actually want to have that sweep as part of the wall? So anytime you place that particular wall, you want to see that sweep there. Well, that can also be done. So if I just go here to the wall tools and let's let's select just the basic wall tool and then I'm going to go with the generic 200 millimeter wall type and then let's go into edit type. If you go to structure and then open that up, you can open up the little preview here. So for the preview, uh, you have the option. So basically it's like um, if that wall was already in the model or in the project and here it gives you like a preview of, or view type. So you can have it as a floor plan view or you can have it like this as a section. So if you set it as a section, what you'll notice is that these tools here uh, will be active. So now what you can do is you can actually add sweeps to this wall. So if I click here on a sweep, you can see here wall sweeps. I can click on add to create a new one. I can select my profile. Uh, I can then let's hit apply just to see where it is. See, it's here on the bottom. So now I can set the distance to 1500, for example, hit apply. Okay, now it's up there. So you can basically play around, you can flip it if you want. So it's going to look like this. Uh, you can uh, have it cuttable. Does it cut the wall? You can have an offset. So if I type in minus, I don't know, 15, it will basically kind of cut into the wall, see? So I don't really want that. So let's set it to zero. Okay, so basically this is how you set that up. And then when I click OK and apply and OK, now what you'll notice is whenever you place this wall, it will have that sweep as part of that wall. So that's really cool. Uh, now, even though it's created like this as part of the wall, when you select the wall, you still have that grip point where you can edit that sweep. So you can actually edit that if you if you want to have it kind of uh, represented differently, you can have it there or whatever. So you can play around with that sweep, even though it's part of that 
wall. So that's basically how you create sweeps to be a part of wall. So what do you do then if you have a situation where you want to create kind of a creative sweep? You don't want it to be horizontal, you don't want it to be vertical, you just want it to be something weird. You can do that as well. Now unfortunately you cannot do that with the wall sweep tool here. Uh, what you can do is you can use the same sweep profile uh, for your in-place model. So if I go here to model in place and here you'll notice we don't really have a wall sweep category but we do have the walls category so let's use that. Then here let's call it wall one. Here you can create a sweep. So here you have the sweep option. You can click on that. Let's set the work plane here to pick a plane, click OK, and then I'm going to select this wall face here. And then if you draw something here, so oops, not like that. So let's go back. You never want to start the drawing immediately. You want to go here to modify sweep, sketch path, and then you start the drawing. And then you'll see you have the pink lines and that's what you want to see. So here I can just do whatever I want. I can go crazy with it and Revit will let me because this is that type of a sweep. Okay, so I can do this, which doesn't really make any sense, but let's say this is what we want to see. And then if I hit finish, now we have to set the profile. Now you don't have to sketch out the profile. What you can do is you can go here to profile and then you can pick out that sweep profile. Here it is. And now it's kind of on the inside, which we don't want to see. So you can rotate that, you can flip it. So let's flip it like this, rotate 90 degrees. Oops flip again. No, that should be 90, 183. No, that's, let's see. Let's, let's see my math here. So it doesn't work with 90, 180. No. Oh, 270. There we go. Okay. Uh, now let's hit apply and let's see. There we go. So this is that sweep. So as you can see, you can go crazy with it. And then let's hit finish. So now we have that crazy sweep here. And then finally, I wanted to show you how you can include some detailing into the sweep itself. So what you can do is if I go here into level one, and then let's come here to this sweep that we have here, open that up. So here we have the sweep. Let's turn on the 10 lines and let's say you want to add some detailing here. Perhaps it doesn't look like this. Perhaps it has some uh, construction elements or whatever that's holding it in place or it's not some simple element like this. You might be using, uh, representing something else with a sweep that has kind of a construction component. Well, for that you can actually add details. So let's actually open up this profile. So because I've closed down that family when I was loading it in, I can go to the project browser, I can scroll down, find families, I can find profiles here. There we go. Expand that. Here we have our sweep profile and then I can edit that family. So it's just going to open up that family here and now I can edit the family. Now, if you try to use regular lines, it's not going to let you because then that's going to be the part of the profile. You don't want part of the profile, you just want a detail element on, the, on that. So something like um, detail lines, not regular geometry elements. So for that, you can go here to insert and then you can load in a family which is going to be used for that. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, or not on insert, uh, detail component, yeah, but we have to load it in. So let's go to insert, load family, uh, then let's go back here. Let's see. So here we should have detail items. And then you can find whatever you want here. So let's go with, oops, not site work. Let's go with general, what we have here. Okay, that's a break line. So I wanna have something that's, let's see, doors and windows. Do we have something here? Nope, this won't work. Let's see, wood and plastic. Okay, let's try this. Do we have something here? Well, they we have some basic elements here. So if you want to use something like this, you can. So if I just bring this in and let's bring that in, let's go here, detail component, and then you can place it there. 
it's obviously way too big. Uh, but let's say this is something that's going to dare to represent the construction part of this. Well, you can just place it there and let's then actually just increase this profile to kind of accommodate this. So this is going to be this is going to look really silly at the moment, but that's okay. We're just kind of trying to represent what's going on. So we can extend it like that. So it's kind of inside, it's like part of the construction. And now if I load that back into the project and override this, what you'll notice is now that sweep will have this as kind of part of a detail. So this is a way to include details in your sweeps. Now, one thing to note is if you have a section that cuts through this at an angle, unfortunately, you will not be able to see that detail. See how here we don't have that detail. Uh, it's only going to work in perpendicular sections uh, like this one. Uh, but I think it's still uh, pretty cool to have that ability to include details. And obviously, it's going to be here and here and everywhere else as long as you're cutting straight or perpendicular through the sweep itself. And there you go. Uh, now, if you want to get access to all of my Revit project files, this file included, uh, you can find that on my Patreon page. I'm going to include a link to that just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.